My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to look at the Rule Editor. That's part of Adobe Experience Manager 6.2 Forms. The Rule Editor enables somebody who doesn't know JavaScript, who doesn't know how to program, to add logic and rules to their adaptive forms. Let me show you how it works. I'm running Adobe Experience Manager 6.2. I'm going to select Forms, and then Forms and Documents. And I've been working on a form fragment to capture somebody's address. So let me go ahead and select that and choose to open it in my form editor. And you may notice we're using a couple of the newer components on this particular form. I've got an image chooser here at the top that allows me to select from different images that I've uploaded. I've also got the switch that works really well on forms that you expect to be displayed on mobile devices. Let's take a quick look at this image chooser. I'm going to click on configure. And you'll notice in this case, I've uploaded two images, both flags, one for the USA and the other for Canada, so that somebody can select their country of residence. I've also made sure that this is a radio button style image chooser. So in other words, users can only select one or the other, not both flags. And I've also defaulted the value to USA. Let's take a look at this form. I'm going to click preview. And in addition to the flags up here at the top that allow me to select my country of residence, I've got a couple of lines for the home address, including state and zip code, as well as province and postal code. Now, I really only need two of these lines, but it varies which ones I need depending on which country is selected at the top. So I'd like to add some logic to my form that automatically shows or hides these two fields or two of the four fields based on the country that's selected. So let's look at how to do that. I'm going to go back to editing my form. And in this case, I want to apply the logic based on the selection here of this image chooser field. So I'm going to select this image chooser field and then click on the Edit Rules button to automatically launch the rule editor. Now, we've highlighted the country of residence over here in the form objects. And so by default, as I select to create a rule, it's going to create that rule based on country of residence. In this case, I've got a number of different states I can select to determine my condition, whether the form is just being initialized, whether it's been selected, whether it's just been changed, or whether it includes a specific value. And that's exactly what I want to look at for this particular form, whether it's equal to the US flag or the Canadian flag. So let me choose the state is equal to. In this case, I don't need to enter a string manually because it's a radio button. We know the two values. So Adobe Experience Manager automatically pre-populates those for me. The top one is the US flag. So let's select that one first. And that's the only condition we need to look at. If we've got a more complex logic we'd like to add, we can add multiple conditions. But in this case, we're just looking to see what the uh, country of residence flag is set to. So now we can specify our actions. And the actions here are to hide the Canadian province and postal code when the US flag is selected. So my action will be to hide. And I'll add a, an additional hide statement. And now I can not just type in my fields, but actually drag and drop them from my form objects. So I'm going to open up my form objects by clicking on this form objects and functions uh, button. And now I can literally drag and drop province and postal code over here into my rule editor. In addition to all of the form objects I've got access to, I've also got access to all of the functions. These are some of the functions that come out of the box with Adobe Experience Manager. The ability to quickly create the sum or average of a number of fields, to validate the form or get the current date. You can not only use any of these functions, but you can also create your own and share them across your organization among all of the different form authors. Let's go back to form objects, though. I'm now automatically hiding my Canadian fields based on the selection of the US flag. There's a bit of additional logic I want to add to this, though. In case the American fields had been hidden earlier, if somebody's switching between the two, I want to make sure the zip code and uh, state are both visible. So I'm going to add two more statements and set these both to show and drag and drop the state and the zip code over to the show statements. So now if the country of residence is set to US, it'll hide the Canadian address fields and show the American address fields. I'm going to click Done. 
and we're going to create one more statement that does the same thing except for the Canadian selection. So if the state is equal to, this time I'll select the Canadian flag. I'll add four conditions. I'm going to hide the two American fields, state. I'll drag and drop those in there and zip code. And I'm going to add two show actions to make sure that the Canadian province and postal code both show up. I'll click Done. All right, my logic is in place. We're going to test this out in just one second. There's one final step I want to take before I test this, though. When we launch the form, all four are going to be showing, even though we know the US flag is going to be selected by default. So I'm going to add one more rule using the rule editor to automatically hide those Canadian fields. I'm going to do that not by selecting country of residence, but actually selecting the entire form fragment, home address here. I'm going to create a rule for the form fragment. Here, my options are limited in terms of state. We can run a calculation when it's initialized. So I'll select that is initialized state. And in this case, my action will be to hide both the postal code and province on initialization. I'll click Done. And I'll click Close to close the rule editor so that we can test this out by clicking Preview. And my form loads with only two of those four fields visible. And that's perfect. I've defaulted to the US flag, and so we're also defaulting to state and zip code. But if I select the Canadian flag, we can see the province and the postal code. If I select the US flag again, we're automatically hiding and showing the appropriate fields. All of this without a single keystroke in JavaScript or programming. If you are familiar with adding logic manually, though, if you're familiar with JavaScript and would like to edit that manually, you're still able to do so. Let's go back to the rule editor. We'll select one of these uh, rules that we've already created. And at any time, I can switch from the visual editor to the code editor. And this shows me the JavaScript that's automatically created, including the comments, and also gives me the ability to edit the code itself. Now, if I do choose to edit the code, it will warn me that I'm not able to go back and edit this using the visual editor. So that's something to keep in mind. But you've always got access to the JavaScript that's automatically created as you're designing forms with the new rule editor. Thanks for your time.